Hello Virgo, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing wonderful, hope you've had a great weekend and of course I hope you had a great week, that it was kind, it was patient and it was gentle with you and that you know there was a lot of progression and things got done. Virgo, welcome to your mini bonus weekend reading. I'm not going to put a topic or any subtopic on this. So if the cards want to reveal for the collective anything to do with romance, career, finances, investments, health, whatever it is that they want to uh, touch on, I will explore all of that with you. However, though, Virgo, I am focusing on a certain time frame here. It is pretty short it's for the next couple of days to the next couple of weeks so this is pretty much more of the immediate energy that is coming your way let's jump straight into it virgo i will still be uploading your uh your usual weekly love reading on the same day on schedule on time so don't worry about that hit the notification bell so when i do upload your much more in-depth uh weekly love reading um you will be notified and you won't miss out so let's do this. Let's do uh, your, your mini bonus reading in the next coming days to the next coming weeks for Virgo, please. We have the Nine of Cups coming out. So we're getting a wish being granted. Could be dealing with the Pisces there. Don't have to be though. Two more. Last one. All right, here we go. All right, so as I said, we have the Nine of Cups that decided to come out, Pisces Energy. This is a beautiful card of celebration where you're sitting there thinking, oh my God, it happened. I got exactly what I asked for. I don't either need the Ten or the big Ace of Cups. I'm so content and happy with how things turned out. Why? Because we have a wish that's being granted for you. It might be one wish that you've always wanted and in the next coming days to weeks, it actually appears, it works out for you. It could be several wishes. Let's see, more on it, please. Three of Wands, something that you've waited on. Something that perhaps it was a project, something that you pitched, something with work. If you wanted, for example, a raise, a promotion, a job offer, you've been applying for work, you wanted to have your own business. Something for you to understand, Virgo, is that the Three of Wands is considered a very lucky card, a very good omen to get anywhere in your spread. And after waiting, thinking, is it going to happen? Is it really going to happen? Yes, it is. For some of you, within three days, something is going to give, something's going to break through. What else? There you are. You've been more than patient. The Nine of Pentacles is ruled by you, Virgo energy. I actually love your energy. The Knight of Pentacles, which is ruled by you, it's showing me that you've been waiting an enormous amount of time. It is the slowest moving night, but it is the most reliable night. We've got someone coming towards you. And yes, believe it or not, this person is loyal. They've got a good head on their shoulders. They're offering you something practical, something promising. Can definitely be associated here with three things, three wishes, your career. No, let's backtrack. Your finances your career and your romantic love life could be all together where it's just this mashup mashup where you're like life is good it's excellent it's a good time to be virgo we have the knight of wands this is my traveling knight it's my call to action night you're being called to take action about a certain ending that happened in your life and it's already happened because the sword's already lodged there. In fact, with a lot of the other zodiac signs that I have been doing, I've been seeing the Ten of Swords quite a lot. In some readings, I've seen the Ten of Swords twice in the same reading, you know, when I clarify and all that. So perhaps it could be someone in the past that you don't exactly trust as well. Could be coming back into your life. Um, you might consider them a bit of a player. In fact, we might have two different people coming back into, um, into, well, coming into your life. But this is the thing, I want you to know something, Virgo, that the worst is behind you. This is considered, I'm not going to sugarcoat this, this is considered the worst card in the deck, where you've hit rock bottom, but now the sun is rising and the only place to go now is up. And what happens? On your way up, all your wishes are being granted here, things that you've worked for, you've waited for the results. We've got people coming towards you, the end, that's not going to happen. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, listen, we've got the Eight of Swords there. We also have you. You're holding back. Is this too good to be true? What's the catch? There's no catch. I'm telling you that right now. Let's get to your main reading, shall we? There you are. 
I love this. The nine of pentacles ruled by you, Virgo. Some of you may consider yourself 100% single. You may be alone, but you're not lonely. You're resourceful, you're independent. It's the kind of luxury. It's the minor arcana of the Empress as well. You're surrounded literally by um, pentacles, by coins. You're really just focusing here on you and other areas of your life, your studies, your career, your finances, self-employment, that million dollar idea, and it's gonna pay off. It's going to grant a lot of wishes. You got really good nines, the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. You may travel as well. This will directly impact you. So when I said that this has already happened, the worst is behind you. Yeah, it is because you got the world, which represents the end of a cycle. You may actually be in contact with or very soon um, be dealing with a Leo, a Taurus, Aquarius, a Scorpio. You may be traveling for work here as well. Um, I got the word contract will be presented to you. So you may sign something and that's you thinking, is this too good to be true? It's like, no, you've worked for it. You've planned for it. You worked your butt off for this. I think a lot of you have that million dollar idea and it's going to actually be worldwide here as well. Um, but we're, we have the end of a cycle now. There is a brand new cycle. Literally, the world says the world is your oyster. Celebrate. What's the beating heart of your reading? It is the two of wands. You're holding the globe there. Aries energy. I'm seeing a lot of travel here. Um, this is definitely shows new love, new job, new partnerships, even like love partnerships, business partnerships here as well. So if you wanted to go into partnership with someone else, that's going to work out really, really, really good. Being an offered a new job here as well. So the main focus I'm seeing for the next few days and weeks, yes, there is romance, but 90% will be your professional life and it's going to take off. You're going to have to pretty much step into the unknown. Take that leap of faith of thinking I've got this idea or you know, what if I ask for a raise? Whatever it is that means expansion for you will pay off. More please. The moon. Pisces, Cancer, energy. Okay, we don't have to tell everyone, okay? <laughs> what does that mean? Not everyone's going to be clapping for you. What has also guided you through this is your deep sense of your intuition and believing in yourself as well. Yeah, where I think there's a lot that still needs to be revealed. What is it? You got the star. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you got two wish cards here. I feel here that there is a lot that you're suppressing. You see, this talks about our internal fears and anxieties. Again, this is too good to be true. And spirit is saying it's not because you got the card of destiny, of fate, and the star is going to reward you highly. Faith will pay very generous dividends. Hope, faith, renewal, the return of health here, especially if you've had some health issues. But that big wish will be granted. You have nothing to worry about and any unease that you have if there are details still that you don't know about it's okay it's all gonna work out for you it's a beautiful time to be Virgo I must say that it's a beautiful time to be Virgo I'm really proud of you I'm seeing all that hard work and effort is gonna pay off there's a three of ones again there it is you might be waiting for results an outcome is alone going to be approved. I pitched this idea. I have this idea. Is it going to work out? Yes, it will. Remember, the Nine of Swords is the, um, no, Nine of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles is the kind of luxury. It's kind of like when you reach a point in your life that, you know, I don't need to look at the price tag. But of course, we're not throwing our money away. There we go. Another card there. And there was another one there. Two more. Last one. All right here we go I feel like you're waiting you've been waiting you've been waiting and waiting I'm here to tell you that you've got good news coming your way within the next couple of days two weeks there it is again got nothing to worry about you've got the nine of cups twice so we've got three big wishes and I did say that before could be your personal life your um in terms of your finances and your um your career you got three wishes it's all coming ahead Yep. And there it is. There you are again, Virgo energy. You've waited for this. You've worked hard for this. You didn't cut any corners. Beautiful. Sorry about that. If I, that must, I won't do that again, that's a bit too loud. The hanged man, Pisces energy. See, you're uncertain. This is the only card where the energy is like you're suspended in the air. 
you're not moving forward you're not moving back you don't know what to do all all the, the only thing that you you know is that you've crossed all the t's you've dotted all the i's you've read through everything you've looked at everything from every different angle you've even prepared to sacrifice your personal life or other things just so you can get ahead in life King of Swords, Aquarius energy. We're going to be receiving help here from an air sign. They definitely could be offering you a job. You're going to be very successful at it. Six of Wands, Leo energy. This is success and it's not overnight. You worked your butt off for that. It's recognition, it's awards, it's laurels. Yeah, Four of Swords. You need to rest because you worked your butt off. Look at that. There you are. That's you. That's Virgo energy. Try not to burn yourself out. In fact, I think you deserve a well-earned rest, even if it's just a weekend to say, you know what, I'm not going to go out. I'm just going to stay on the couch. I'm just going to rest. I think your mind just needs peace, quiet. Let's talk about you as a nine of pentacles. <laughs> My God, four wishes being granted. Why not? You got the star twice now. Ultimately, whatever you have worked on, you've sacrificed time, energy, money, it's going to pay off. You want to have your own business? You have that million dollar idea? You want to travel the world? You want to change the world? Whatever it is, your aspirations are for your career, whether it is you want to be a lawyer or open up a bakery or anything in between, it's going to happen. International success. What are you doing, Virgo? This is beautiful. Death. Scorpio energy. This is the card of rebirth. You know what this is? It's not, this is not the end. This is the rebirth. This is the transition. The 2.0 version of you. You see, both cards show the end of a cycle, but we have a brand new one. It's like, you know, when the snake sheds its skin, it comes out all shiny and new. I'm not saying you're a snake, but what I'm trying to say is that's kind of like a, like a metaphor. The analogy there is that this is the 2.0 version of you. There is going to be a lot to be excited about within the next couple of weeks, Virgo. There is no stopping you. And this is the card of fate. That's destiny. It's the same thing. Let's talk about the two of wands. Seven of pentacles. That is a uh, Taurus energy. So this is you sitting here wondering after everything that I've done, after everything that I've invested, I've worked in, is it going to pay off? Is it even worth it? Is the juice worth Like, is the juice worth the squeeze? Are people going to invest in me? Am I going to get that job? The answer is yes. Certain cards on their own mean no, yes, or uh, uh, ask later. Like the hanged man, for example. Not this one. This is yes. I'm seeing here if you want to invest in a company, in a partnership, um, invest in property, whether it's residential or commercial, that's going to pay off here as well. I absolutely love the ideas that you have here for your professional life. Let's talk about the moon because I feel like you're going to be a little bit hush-hush about it. Yeah, the two of swords. Libra energy. I think you're going to be very selective who you tell because I think you realize with that six of wands that not everyone is going to be clapping for you. Absolutely not. The more noise you make, the more successful you are, people start turning heads, people start noticing you. The good people and well, yeah, the crappy people here as well. And it's almost from here, it's like, well, how do I move forward? Trust the universe because the universe trusts you. They know you've got this. Let's talk about the star. Have you been losing income, loss of job? Is money being lost, stolen? Is it being hemorrhaged here? Yeah, at work? Are you worried about it? That's not gonna happen anymore because we have the star. I think that's a big issue. That's why you don't wanna tell anyone. Something's been happening here with your work, your finances. You've suffered a lot through this. I'm curious, one more. What's going to happen after that five of pentacles? Because we've got a wish being granted here. So if you wanted more money, you wanted more work, more hours, is it going to happen? Here we are. Let's do it. It's now or never. Yes. I didn't mean to be so aggressive. I'm sorry. You just got my favorite card. You got the sun. Yes, yes, yes. Leo energy. You got a happy outcome. The return of health, the return of finances here. That's a happy outcome. True bliss, joy, happiness, traveling to a hot sunny place. Virgo, I'm here to tell you with a lot of confidence that the next few days to the next few weeks, 
everything is going to go your way. You literally got all the wish cards. You got all the victory cards. You got a lot of travel cards, international recognition cards, success, and the outcome is overcoming this with the sun. Do not worry. And if you're still in the dark about a lot of things and you're indecisive about things, or should I uh, uh, go ahead or not? The sun is the card of illumination. So what does that mean? Everything is going to be exposed. So then you're not going to say, I'm indecisive. You will know exactly what to do. Well done, Virgo. And this is all because of you. Because of your hard work, your planning, how you strategize everything, how you don't cut corners. You've got no one to thank but yourself, Virgo. And I commend you because life is about to get very, very fun for you. And you deserve it. I hope you enjoyed your weekend bonus reading. It's really, it's all good news here. That's what I love. The next few weeks are going to be marvelous for you. Let the sun bless you. Um, I will see you in the next few days with your main reading. Take care. Bye.